The history of batteries goes back to Luigi Galvani, who realized that two different metals attached to a frog's leg and connected to each other would cause the muscle of the frog to contract. Italian physicist Alessandro Volta developed the voltaic pile on the basis of the findings of Galvani. The main parts of a voltaic pile are a zinc disc, a cardboard soaked in salt water, and a copper plate. These elements were placed in series to increase the voltage output. Positively charged zinc ions enter the solution while leaving electrons on the zinc plate. The same is true for copper, but only some ions enter the solution leaving only a few electrons on the copper plate. When the zinc plate and the copper plate are connected to each other, charge equalization takes place and the electrons start moving. That is called an electric current. Finally, further improvements were made, resulting in the Daniel cell that uses two pots with zinc and copper sulfate, with zinc and copper elements placed in these solutions. Georges Le Clocher was a French electrical engineer with a research focus on galvanic cells. In 1866, he invented the Le Clocher cell that utilizes carbon instead of copper, but still makes use of zinc. A depolarizer of crushed manganese dioxide is placed around the carbon rod. A porous pot holds it in place but allows the electrolyte, which is ammonium chloride, to get in contact with the depolarizer. To make it more visible, the electrolyte has been colored blue. In the real world, it is colorless. The electrolyte attacks the zinc rod that releases zinc ions. Each zinc ion will lose two electrons that have been colored red in this animation. The zinc ions react with chlorine of the ammonium chloride, creating NH4 ions, amongst other things. When both electrodes are connected to each other, electrons will flow from the zinc rod to the carbon rod because of an excess of electrons in the zinc rod. The positively charged NH4 ions will eventually attract electrons and water molecules to form hydrogen. The accumulation of hydrogen around the carbon rod is called polarization and will finally increase the resistance of the cell. The depolarizer in the Le Clocher cell is manganese dioxide that reacts with hydrogen to form water molecules. This process prevents the galvanic cell from dying.